Hello everyone, and welcome back to Ice Ice Outpost, where the villagers are diligently watching over their sheep as our lambing season special continues, and we try to raise enough animals to be able to complete a Howling Harmony challenge of releasing North American animals, and our sheep is about to give birth! Any minute now, we are about to have another cute little lamb that is going to be added into the flock here. Uh, we just have to wait, you gotta be patient. Our wonderful girl, Phylin, here, who needs renamed, as, ooh, and there we go! <laughs> she was getting comfortable, and she ended up having Yo-Man! Welcome, Yo-Man! Look at him! Okay, let's go ahead and rename this little guy, and he's actually going to be renamed to... To Stoddard! After Casey Stoddard, who our random comment generator has pulled up as a comment from our previous video, which means that you, my dear, get to jump into the sheep pen with us and watch after this little lamb. Look at the way he blends in with the snow. Oh, that is so freaking cute. Oh, I can't wait for him to be able to grow up. Fingers crossed that that will be able to happen before, before we run out of time. I always run out of time on these challenges, but it's so much fun to at least try. When do they age up? It looks like they become mature at five years old. Whew. So that's going to be a little bit of a wait, but I have a feeling that we'll be able to see a lot of these lambs grow up before then. Oh, look! And who's this? Oh, it's his mom! His mom is going ahead and playing with with one of the little toy balls. That is so cute. Oh, and Trimble! No! Trimble, don't interbreed! Dang it! Okay, well, she's expecting offspring, but let's actually move Timble. You know what? Let's come and move Timble over to the new field, because we do have another field where we can start adding in a new group of doll sheep. Oh dear, do we have a diseased animal? We have a diseased animal discovered in Sophie! No! Alright, let's call the vet. Oh look, the vet was already on it! Oh my gosh, who is that? Expedition Ranger Silver, you are so on top of this. You get some training, ma'am. I am so proud of you. She was like, I sense a diseased animal and was just immediately on top of taking care of that. I am really proud of her, actually. And then how many sheep do we have left in here now? So our boy Oliver actually does not have very many sheep that he could go ahead and have as his mates. So let's see if we can pull some new females off the market for him. And there are a few. All right, let's see if we can buy these ones and add them on in he could definitely use a larger herd and then let's see this female we'll go ahead and move her so we got at least two there we go refresh the list all right and the rest are all very expensive so we'll come back to those ones for conservation credits in a bit i'm very low on conservation credits right now so we need to be a little cautious with that oh hey and the puff adders all right, it looks like we actually need to clean out the dusty camp cabin again while we're at it because it seems that they have gone ahead and had some babies. Let's pick the healthiest. I guess it would just be these two. And we'll go ahead and put them back in. And then let's come on over. Select all of them, trade them out. So the camp cabin has collected $3,337. Excellent. We rented it out for something uh, something wonderful. Also, if you guys are not here for the role play, I'm not sure why you're here, but I hope you're having a good time. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to name a whole bunch of the new sheep that are coming in and cross our fingers that they can go ahead and actually start expecting some babies. I'm actually rarely going to, you know, time is passing awful fast now. Cough, cough. <laughs> trying to make sure they have their babies in time but we have let's see christmas joy the fifth has she had any offspring yet let's make sure that if she's had any babies they're keeping the christmas joy name going she had cole who we went ahead and released so we might have to have a new christmas joy title passed on at some point in the future but for now let's go ahead and we're going to name this female Janny which is a lovely name. There we go. So Janny, welcome, welcome. So we've got Janny in our little sheep flock. It'd be cool if those of you who are about to become sheep could end up getting to like know each other in the comments. You, you share a flock together now. And then now we also have Haley. Haley, you are also a pup adder. <laughs> 
<laughs> but now you are also a sheep. So you have popped up quite a bit. That is just the luck that you can expect for the random comments generator. <gasps> the snow leopard is expecting offspring. And Christmas Joy is expecting a new baby. Yes. Let's hope it's a girl so that we can have Christmas Joy the 6th. She's the 6th, so it's Christmas Joy the 7th. All right. And then we've also got a new female right over here. Where'd she go? Right here. And this is actually going to be Sakura. What a lovely name, little pup. Whoops. Sakura. There we go. Sakura. She is going to go ahead and come on in and be one of the new members of our flock. These guys do want to have a little more space to be super happy. I think I could give them a little bit more space. I probably could risk going ahead and expanding their area without too much trouble. Let's see if I can do that. So, hmm. Well, probably not that spot. All right, hang on. The whole point right now is to be good shepherds. So we're going to try to keep the sheep as happy as we can. And if that means giving them a slightly bigger pen, somehow, then I'll see what I can do. Alright, let's edit the barrier. I want to get it down to... How low can it go? It can go all the way down, actually. <laughs> I think. I don't think the sheep will jump that. I think they're, they're usually pretty well behaved. And they won't try to, like wander too far yes the doll sheep are mating that's our big plan right now yes winter is expecting offspring excellent all right and the dairy goats aka the spring rock are expecting offspring too all right so there's a new habitat area we made and that should hopefully be more space for the sheep. So let's see if they liked that. Oh, they did! Look, they ran right over here. Yeah, and they feel like they have a lot more space now. So I think we can go ahead and try adding in at least one more, at least one more female into this area. Oh, there's a lot of them right now. Oh, and they've got good fertility. Go, go, go. We need to have those babies. All right. And we'll move this one in. And then we'll go ahead and move this one in. There we go. And now the little shepherd flock over here has gotten a chance to go ahead and expand. This is really nice. Oh, and the snow leopard's about to have her baby. Okay, I know that that is something we absolutely have to stop for. Her other baby from last time actually grew up. Grew up. Her, her two from last time did end up growing up. And we haven't even given this beautiful snow leopard a proper name yet. I am going to go ahead and she's going to earn the title of Silver Rose the second because we did have another Silver Rose. And I'll pull up some of your guys' names. Oh, she's purring. That we could use in order to... Oh, she's so pretty. That we could use in order to go ahead and name her babies in just a second here. Hello, lovely. Prince and Silver Rose the second. All right. We'll come back when she's ready. Right now she's taking a nap and she's just kind of purring and relaxing. Look at this place. Look at all these little baby sheep. You know what we need in here? We definitely need a, a dedicated shepherd. I don't think we have a shepherd whose job is just to stay in this pen and we're gonna need one. So I would like you guys to go ahead and welcome right down here, Nakia. This is going to be Keeper Nakia, one of our fantastic patrons who helped to keep all of these adventures going by being a member of our Patreon Discord. And we're going to have her come in and she's going to be in charge of the sheep. And I hope that she'll, she'll find it to be a very rewarding endeavor and she can help out with this little spot too, just in case. And this is going to be the sl sheep, sled sheep pen. Because <laughs> originally this was supposed to be the animals that would pull a sled. Alright, there we go. And now where did she run off to? I just had my eye on her. I, I hope she's doing... <laughs> Alright, well, okay, let's see. Will it tell me, like, which keeper? Maintenance. Shepherd Lisa. Work zones. Alright, I gotta find the new work zone that I just made. Sled sheep pen, yes. 
Oh, I didn't catch her in time. There she is. All right. And we're going to get her on the sled sheet pin. And we need to find Erline Wesley now. All right, there she is. All right, and this is going to be, there we go, uh, Shepherd. There we go. Nakia. Shepherd Nakia. And we're going to train her up. I'm also going to go ahead and I'm going to pick her up. There we go. So that she'll focus on waiting for a keeper hut. Okay, so we might need to get like another keeper hut that she can work in. Look at all these sheep and a reindeer. Oh my gosh, there are so many of them. Oh no, and there's a very old springbok who's about to die of old age. I'm sorry, old friend. All right, well now we've got all of the babies going. Did I miss out on the birth? Did I miss out on the birth of the... Oh, there it is, there it is. Silver Rose has given birth. Dang, and I missed it because she was so busy. <laughs> she was so busy napping. I totally missed it, but look at her babies. Oh, those beautiful snow leopards. Wow. I can't... Oh, she has a, another silver... Oh, my gosh. This is going to be Silver Rose the third because this is a gold snow leopard. And I said silver because they're so beautiful with their silver coats. And then she has a little girl who has the same. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So this is going to be... Kyoko! There we go. Blue Tunes, what a fun name to go ahead and pick. We'll go ahead and we're going to name this one Kyoko. Welcome, little one. Heck, I can't wait to be able to spend more time with the snow leopards, but you really just have to kind of like pick your poison when you dive into our huge like zoos and try to take care of everything. And I'm really hoping we get more of these sheep going and aging up. Look at all the lambs! So that then we will be able to go ahead and make more progress on this challenge. I'm a little concerned. We're getting there, but I'm still a little concerned. Hmm. All right. Let's see. I think we had some more sheep to name over here. And I kind of want to revamp things over here a little bit too. Like maybe do much smaller sheep pens for them. Oh, hey, and Leah, the Arctic wolf has actually matured. Yay! Okay, I think that those guys should be okay, and they shouldn't mate with their, their like, family. All right. Oh, my gosh. All right, the Siberian tigers. Oh, boy. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to put him. He's an all-white gold star Siberian tiger <laughs> roaming in our forest. He's going to need to go into a special spot. And then Constantine and Anastasia. I'm going to go ahead and release those two into the wild. There we go. And Christmas Joy is about to go ahead and have her offspring. Heck. Oh, my word. Right back here, Christmas Joy. This is exactly where I was thinking about starting to put in some of, like, the new little houses and things. A little shed for her to enjoy. I was going to look up, like, the Arctic theme. And then I was going to put in a tiny little shed back here. So we can just have, like, a small itty bitty arctic shed i have arctic picnic tables now we have arctic playgrounds oh an arctic statue centerpiece oh that's a really cool centerpiece it's just like a bunch of sticks it looks like a bonfire waiting to happen <gasps> she had the baby she has had the baby friends is it a girl it's a girl we have christmas joy the seventh yay Welcome Christmas Joy the 7th. Heck, that makes me so happy. And apparently, because we've released three Siberian Tigers of the Wild, we got some, some points for that, which is pretty exciting. Oh, there we go. All right, so how are we doing? I think we're doing pretty good. When are, gonna, when are some of these younger ones going to be ready to age up? Janny? Janny is actually, we could release, oh, we can't release Janny to the wild because I think we bought Janny. But some of her children might be ready to age up at some point soon. And then we have a million and a half little lambs in here. And we have some elder females. Okay, how long do the doll sheep give birth for? Their sexual sterility is when they die. So they will actually give birth right up until the point that they are simply too old. They live to about 18. So I like the idea that we can go ahead and retire our little old ladies though. And we can say that they get to go to like some little old grandma's backyard 
And she can just knit a bunch of adorable mittens out of their wool. Ooh, Maslin's a gold star. Wow. Nice. Maslin? I mean, she's still got another year in her, so she might have another another lamb. I don't want to rush her out the door just because we're trying to do this challenge to make Ice Ice Outpost more famous. And Emmeline also has a couple years left, so I think we'll go ahead and leave our two little old ladies here. Hmm. Oh, and Winter's about to have a baby! Yay! So we've got a lot of little lambs. So lambing season is definitely working. We definitely have enough offspring. They just need to get to, like, almost four years old before they're really ready to find um, a place of their own to call. There we go. Hemson is almost ready to grow up. To call home in the wild. So they do have to get to about four. So we might have to kind of zip along a little. Oh, Pendle's a gold star. <gasps> there we go. And this is going to be a random after that random lady. You have just been born as a little sheep into our beautiful Ice Ice Outpost. Congratulations. Heck. All right, I need to check. Did I put a sheep way over here all by its lonesome? I sure did, and she gave birth. What? We have a little Ivan way over here. So let's go ahead and rename Ivan and his mom. This is going to be Cashew. What an adorable name suggestion. Holy cow. And then his mom, Tinble. We're going to go ahead and rename her after one of you guys. And Mango. <laughs> okay, Cashew and Mango are like two of the cutest little names for these sheep. And they do want to have a social group. So let's add to this flock over here. And we're going to rename this flock because it's no longer going to be the bachelor flock. Let's see. What's the best male we have that we could put in? Her. All right, we'll grab a few. Oops, did I already adopt those animals? Here we go. We'll add in this female, because I think they want at least a few members, other than just, like, mate members. And then we'll adopt this female. It's really easy when we can adopt them for cash. And then, let's see. There is this healthy male. How old is he? Let's find out. This healthy male from Biology Transport, who's only six years old, and he's golden. So you know what? We'll go ahead and we'll get him. I don't have a lot of conservation credits, but we did get a bit from the Siberian tiger research we've been doing in the thick forest. So fingers crossed that everything will be okay, and we can add in a few more sheep over here. There we go. And we will rename, this is going to be a brand new little shepherd's nook, and we're going to try to really spruce it up, make it look a lot nicer, make it more fun for our guests, maybe put in like a cool little arched bridge that they could walk on to look down at all of the little lambs, which I think would be adorable. And this is actually going to be the shepherd's nook. Uh, this is going to be shepherd's nook across there we go across another one of our fantastic patrons and this is going to be across his bridge and we're going to build a nice bridge over here i think yes hey somebody vandalized this rude and we'll make this like a nice comfy area where people can come and relax all right let's go ahead and name these new sheep really quickly so we've got one new female over here let me get those names from the random comment generator and then this is going to be another Haley, not the same Haley from earlier, but another Haley. There are many Haley's in our group, it seems. And then let's see if we have a, oh no, he's injured. We're going to need to call the vet, all right, to come and take care of him. But we're going to rename Larch to a new name. Oh, Darian, you have so many fantastic names for so many animals. I'm going to rename Larch Bracken. That is a very good name for him. All right, we're going to go with Bracken. And then, let's see. So there's Bracken. And then finally, we have this sheep to go ahead and rename. And we're going to go ahead and name her Bella. I like that name for, for that sheep, too. That's really fun. Oh, and I feel really happy because now we have a whole new herd all set up they're tucked in they're ready to go yay all right and let's check on these little oh my gosh 
<laughs> There's so many of them. Oh my goodness. We probably need to be giving them like even more food. Should I fill up another food trough? Probably. And oh my gosh. I mean, like, look at them, you guys. <laughs> look at how many. Oh, they ate all that food so fast. And Viora is about to give birth. She's tucked away into the barn, ready to go ahead and give birth. And Valora. I can't wait to see what her baby is going to be. Oh, and she's she's all tucked over here. I think while we wait for her to give birth, I'm going to put in some more of these diamond leaf. No, I'm going to look for a small shop or something. Because I really wanted to get like a small... Honestly, this bathroom setup works really great. I wanted a small little hut that we could kind of put back here that the sheep could use. But I guess they would need something a little bigger. Let me see. There's a dome. Oh, this there's a really cool dome. Holy cow. All right. That would be good for the pandas. There's another dome. The sheep don't really need these domes. Oh, this is cute. I kind of wanted to make something like this for the sheep. <gasps> we probably could. I bet we probably could. Because if we put it down like this, then instead of having the, the whole area where it looks like it's for the sheep, if we put it like this, then it looks like it's just another house, like a barn that people go into f to reach the sheep. I like that. Because all we have to do to make it so the sheep can access it would be to like take out a couple of the door pieces, I think. Or would the sheep even like go inside? Would they just ignore it? Can they literally just come into this barn? I mean, maybe. Let's find out. Let's grab some some nice warm hay bedding. And then can I can I just like I just burst my way in here? Can I just put that down and and now the sheep will kind of go in there? We're going to have to see. We'll we'll peek in and if that's the case, then we have a really cool new barn that we don't even need to worry about. Let's see. And we can get more bushes kind of set over here. I wish there was a button where you could just like randomize it a little bit on what access, access, sorry. I have a cold right now, so it's a little hard to talk, but what axis you're on, heck, look at that. Oh, those are some good bushes. Look at all the frost they've got on there. That's some high quality, high quality frost collected bushes. They're gonna make it look like a beautiful, magical winter wonderland over here. There we go. I love a good bush. All right, we're gonna tuck it down over here. See, and now you can't really see if I get a little bit more ambitious with our bush situation. You can't really see the fencing anymore, so it doesn't look quite so random. And hopefully the sheep can come and use this because it is inside of their, their area. I think they'll walk through it. And we could try to remove this really big area instead. So that, that'd be kind of cool. Look, and they have the high quality food. Heck, I would like to put some bushes or some things down to kind of hide that from people so that people felt like this was a more naturalistic area pretty soon. So that would be fun as well. All right, but let's go ahead and slow on down for just a second. Do we have any sheep that have grown up that I could release? Laura. I think Valora actually aged up, now that I think about it. I think she did! Oh, and Holly the Arctic Wolf is about to have offspring! Okay, you guys! Oh, heck! No, Valora did not age up because we can't release her to the wild. Haha! -ha! All right! Guys, I didn't realize this, but, like, one of our wolf packs is about to expand again, which means we need some great names for a Arctic Wolf Pack. And... I know we're really focusing hardcore on the sheep right now, but the challenge is coming to a close very soon for me. Hopefully we'll be able to pull it off in time. Fingers crossed. If you guys could, do please leave a like for all of the little lambs who are going to be growing up so quickly pretty soon here. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, including seeing what kind of Arctic wolf pups will be born, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. Oh, 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 is she gonna have the pup or is she just teasing? Oh, here we go. Oh, look at them! There's one! There's two! 
Yay! Stay curious, and I will see you guys for celebrating these wolf pups next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>